All right, so welcome guys to another video and today we're gonna check another um, highly requested um, I am here in this channel and um, this is the AK6 Pro. And actually before, um, of course, I did review the old AK6 and it's actually one of the most popular videos that I have. So um, in that price range, in the you know $3, $5 range, it's the, one of the cheapest way to get into the hobby and it does have um, ample base response there. And now with the AK6 Pro, you're getting maybe an improved design. Also, um, you can remove the cables as well. So we're gonna check out if this is still um, the budget base king or um, is this even improved compared to what you're getting with the AK6 in this unboxing. So looking at the box itself, um, it's definitely a different box here. The box is different compared to what you are getting in the OG um, QKZs. Um, so the OG QKZs has that maybe plastic box now you're getting uh you know your typical um chai fi box here and actually nicely designed here 3.5 millimeter jack 0.75 millimeter two pin connector so finally we are getting um removable cables in the ak6 1.2 meters in length in the cable 20 to 23 k hertz in frequency range uh, 16 ohm independent as well and also 98 db in sensitivity pretty cool on that and uh, this is still around three to five dollars in price of course depending on where you are gonna get it so still definitely nice price for um you know a qkz and uh, this is your um, unboxing experience and hopefully you don't get that manufacturing issues here in the um, ak6 pro as well so that is your unboxing experience and that is the look that you are going to get and first impressions here this uh, actually looks maybe a tfz s2 kind of look and the tfz s2 is maybe um you know 50 dollars in price that's really cool you're getting that maybe glossy design um you're getting that uh, see-through design and you're getting that glitters uh, which reminds me a lot of the s2s but then looking at what you're getting in the box, actually the box itself, um, it's uh, actually similar to what you're getting with the KZ boxes here. So if not, maybe they're the same manufacturers of their boxes here. And uh, in the cable, you are getting that maybe VK4-ish cable, black design, or maybe TRN cables as well. You're getting um, L-plug at the top. So that's nice. And uh, the L-plug as well is your smaller L-plug at the top. So this might be nice for... Um, some mobile usage and especially if you have some cases uh, or if you have still uh, you know phone with the headphone jack as well and of course you're getting that 0.75 millimeter two pin connector and that this is maybe your kz type of um, two pin connector here this is going to be the more stable two pin connector and of course you are getting that air rocks as well in your qkz uh, i say compared to the previous ak6 um the pro version is now a bit more uh, better quality in terms of the cable because before um i did remember that you're getting really big um air hooks before with your ak6 but now it's a bit more updated and here actually you're getting with maybe zst ish kind of design you're getting that purple and blue which is the color of this channel so that is uh, definitely an advantage see-through in design as well i would say for the price that you're paying for it's quite a looker for me and also in terms of the overall design um this is your typical you know kz type shape and also ak6 shape as well so very much similar to that so this will be safe on the ear a lot of people would just wear this and be okay with the shape. It doesn't have some fins, um, so it won't be as stable as your IEMs with fins, but uh, that is not a big issue because uh, these types of IEMs has been worn a lot by a lot of people now, and it's quite comfortable to wear for a long listening session. Going towards the insertion to the ear, so um, it's not that deep here. Uh, maybe, again, reminds me of the old ZST XAs. I'm not super deep, but uh, this will still um, you know, isolate quite well on the ear. Build quality, of course, is mostly plastic. And of course, it's in the cheaper side of things. Um, this is a cheap um, IM. So let's try to put this on the air. And on the air, it's your typical KZ shape here and very much similar to the AK6 Pro as well or the VK4. So it does fit nicely on the air. It's quite breathable on the air. So you can wear this for a long listening session. In terms of isolation, um, this is uh, very similar to the AK6 as well. Um, maybe average in the isolation this is not going to be the most isolating pair but uh, this does block out some of the noise and it does have the comfort as well because um, it's readable on the ear um, you can wear this for a long listening session stability quite good as well because of that ear hooks um, this will stay on your ear and the ear hooks is preformed so yeah it will stay on your ear for a long listening session so yeah very much a safe type of shape here um, anybody can just pick this up and be okay with the overall shape and it's nice that you have removable cables already in this so not a big issue on that so very much welcome for that from qkz so now we are going to listen to some tunes and we are going to use the cavalli tube hybrid with the grace sdac for our listen today so the base quantity is still pretty good in the mix it has that still ak6 vibes to it in the base um so the base is still um you know quite prominent in the mix but uh surprisingly compared to the previous ak6 now you're getting more treble on top you're getting more extension on top 
So actually, maybe the tuning here reminds me a lot of the MT ones in a way. But uh, this one compared to the MT ones will still be more bassy of a listen. So the bass here is a bit more boomy in the mix. Um, the mid bass is a bit more elevated in the mix. And uh, the bass is going to be more um, prominent in the mix here. So this is more of a fun listen now um, in the AK6 Pro. A bit different compared to what you're usually using with the AK6 here. So one of the major advantages of this over the AK6 is you're going to get more treble on top and uh, more clarity on top as well. So the vocal will have a bit more bright uh, vocal presentation and also on top as well um, you know the cymbals will have more um, energy there on top musicality in the overall sound so um, this is going to be more musical to listen to over what you are getting with the previous AK6 so actually in terms of the overall tuning this is a bit different now this is not um, you know your bass focused um, IEM this is more of a fun IEM now with the AK6 Pro and actually in terms of the bass response because um, actually the bass is quite prominent in the mix it does have a bit of mid bass bleed here so maybe the bass here reminds me of uh, blonde kind of bass but a bit more toned down blonde bass here so going to the mids the mids is recessed in the mix here this is a U um, type of shape to the ear um, actually quite smooth in the overall presentation but that is not the thickest you know mids that I've listened to especially for a dynamic driver this is not front and center in the mix and because you're getting that a uh, bit of mid bass bleed from the bass here so um, the mids is not that prominent in the mix here yeah I would say this is not uh, you know a vocal centric I'm um, kind of I am so um, this is one of the weakness for me of this IEM. So the vocals for me is a bit recessed in the mix for what I would like. So going to the top end, you're getting actually that double horns on top here. Maybe a KZ style kind of double horns at the top or maybe a TR and MT ones as well. So it's quite lively in the mix. Actually, as you can see here compared to maybe your other TRNs. So um, your 5K will be a bit more elevated in the mix compared to what you're getting with the 12K. That's a bit different compared to maybe your TRNs that has maybe a balance, um, you know, double horns at the top. And also your KZs, um, you're usually having maybe more 12K in the mix compared to what you're getting with maybe your 5K. So um, this will be a bit more toned down in, in the 12K region, but still you're getting that 12K, you're getting that 5K region. So you're going to get uh, more energy on top, more musicality on top here. So actually, this makes it a bit more monitor um, type of listen to the ear. Body in the cymbals, not the thickest, you know, body in the cymbals here. But not that bad because uh, this is still a dynamic driver presentation. So for some guitar tracks, uh, for some acoustic tracks, um, it will resolve the treble for you. Soundstage quite small for me here. Um, in terms of the separation, not that good as well because of the smoother nature of the sound. And also mid bass bleed, boomy bass at the bottom, separation not that good. Detail retrieval, not good as well. So um, this not your detail monster, obviously, especially in this price range. I would say um, this is better sounding compared to the previous AK6. So I do like that you have more extension on top here. So it's going to be more of a monitor type of listen. It's going to be more um, revealing in the mix as well. And you're going to get a whole spectrum of sound here compared to what you're getting with the previous AK6 where it's all about the bass. So here, I do like the AK6 Pro over the previous AK6. So actually for some people who's so looking for an MT1 type of sound because uh, this is very similar to the MT1, but you're looking for more bass response. Um, so if you're looking for a bassy type of fun in the $5 range, um, this might be the pick that you would like. Um, is it better compared to the MT1 and also the EDX for me? I would say I still prefer the MT ones and the EDX over this. So I do like that in the MT one, the bass is a bit more controlled in the mix. And also the vocals, I do find it better in the MT ones. Also the EDX as well, um, you're getting a bit more, um, you know, treble clarity on top there. Uh, a bit more monitory type of sound and also more controlled bass in the EDX. So I still do like those two um, IEMs over the AK6. Uh, but still, um, you know, different tunings here. So if you're into bass and if you're looking for a fun sound, you might like the AK6 Pro. And I will recommend this for those bass heads in the $5 range. Alright, so that's my take with the AK6 Pro. Of course, if you learn something, um, leave a like and subscribe more content like this in the future. It's actually, it's nice that you're getting more releases in the $5 range. We need more and more releases there. So actually, maybe for QKZ, if you can give me a VK4 kind of sound in the $5 range, that might be nice. Maybe um, a bit more bass compared to the VK4 is okay for me. So um, that might be a bit better of a tuning for me. Uh, but yes, um, you know, that's our video for today. Of course, if you learned something, um, leave a like and subscribe more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys in the next sequel video. Goodbye.